in this video I am going to do one example on again application of quadratic equation. So let us read the question a motorist travels a distance of 375 kilometers uh, in a total of 4.25 hours. She travels a part of the way at the average speed of 80 kilometers per hour and the rest at the average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. How far did she travel at 80 kilometers per hour? So I'm going to draw a line to show you. Suppose this is the distance she travels. Suppose this is she sta starts at A and reaches B. So let me use a different color. So this is your A and this is your B. So we know from A to B the distance is 375 kilometers. This distance is 375 kilometers. Now this total distance was covered in four and a quarter hours or 4.25 hours. That's one information that we have. So she traveled a part of it. So we'll say okay, the part may be here somewhere here. I don't know. Okay. This part, suppose let me name that, that as say C. So AC is say X. So how much would be BC? We know AB is 375 and we are letting that A, AC is X. So BC would be 375 minus X. Now this distance was traveled at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. And this was traveled at the speed of 90 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now, we want to find basically how far did she travel at. So, the question is what is x? Okay. So, I hope the diagram is very clear. So, what do we know? Speed is distance over time. So, from this if you make t the subject or time is distance over speed. So there are two times here. Yeah? So this is say the time required from A to the time required from A to C is say T1 and the time required from C to B is say T2. So what do we know? How can we relate A, T1 and T2? So T1 plus T2 is the total time required for this full journey. Okay. So what do we know about that? Can you say anything about T1 plus T2? Yes, we can because we know that the total time required is 4.25 hour. Okay, now, what is T1? T1 is, you can say, their distance divided by your speed. So, what's the distance? So, we can say T1 is D1 over S1. So, we can say D1. Now what is D1? D1 is 80. So this is your D1. Sorry. X is your D1. Okay. So, yeah. So, that is X divided by, this is your S1. And this is your D1. And this is your D2. And this is your S2. So, over S1 which is 80. And T2, what is T2? T2 is D2 over S2. Now your D2 is this distance, which is 375 minus X over your S2, which is 90. So, now we can say X over 80 plus 375 minus X over 90 is equal to 4.25. Okay. Now what can you do? I want to eliminate this 80 and 90. So I'll do 80 times 90 is 7200. So I'm going to multiply 70, uh, 7200 to all of them. So 7200 times x over 80 plus 7200 times 375 minus x over 
90 is equal to 7200 times 4.25. So now this goes in 7200 90 times and 90 goes in 7200 80 times. So this becomes 90x plus 80 times 375 minus x is equal to 7200 times. Now you can do this without the calculator but I want to finish it faster so I'll use the calculator. So I want to know what is 80 times 375. So that is 80 times 375 is 30,000. Okay, so I can write 90x plus 30,000 minus 80x is equal to 7,200 times 4.25. You can do this without the calculator, that is 30,600. So this is 30,000. 600. So this has become a simple linear equation. So this is 10x plus 30,000 is equal to 30,600. So if you take away 30,000 from both sides, so 10x is equal to 600. So x is equal to 60 kilometers per, sorry, x is 60 kilometers. Okay, so here the answer, that was the question, how much was traveled in the with 80 kilometers, that is 60 kilometers per hour. You can check this by putting the answer back into this and see whether you got it right. See you in the next video.